So I'm just at mum and dad's place right now. Um, coming about once a week to um, have a shower, make some food, charge all my gear here every week, cameras, laptop. And um, once I get the kitchen set up, once I get the solar power set up, once I get water collection sorted out so I don't need to come in for a shower, I won't be coming here at all, and no, that's bollocks. I uh, really get on with my parents, so um, I'll still come and see them all the time. Basically, this, this box, this is where um, I keep my stuff at mum and dad's. See my passport there, some electrical cables and stuff like that. Mains powered beard trim and stuff that just is pointless having in the forest, right? Obviously the passport, I don't want any forms of ID in there in case the place gets rumbled. But one thing I've had in this box for about a year now is the, the mobile phone, which is like, it's, it's part of the past to me. The last function it served for me was um, as an alarm clock, but when I got the the Garmin eTrex GPS, I found out that this has an alarm clock on it, so the phone's final function became obsolete, and it's just been in this box now for for months. I don't use it, I don't need it, so I'm going to take it to the household tip in town, and I'm going to send it back to China, presumably that's where they go to be recycled. We're letting go of the mobile phone. I'm also going to do a gear rundown of, of all the stuff, the laptop, the camera gear, and everything that I carry in this 20 litre backpack that I take with me pretty much everywhere to um, you know, effectively run the YouTube channel, make these videos. And then I'll talk a little bit about the logic. There's a series of reasons why I feel that, speaking personally for me, at this time in my life, why a mobile phone is extremely, it's an extremely negative thing to happen. And it's a lot more to do than just the, the radiation that these little fuckers pump into your body. First smartphone I ever owned, had it for two years. By the end of that two years, I couldn't really see the point of it. That's just me, so there we go, small electrical appliance. Mum and Dad have been living in this town for four years, I think, maybe, maybe even longer than that. And I only found this little secret back route in and out of town the other day. And so this little guy, it will find your way and you discover some really great shortcuts like that in town and in the countryside. You also get stuck in some absolute bullshit situations as well. Fully loaded bike up some barely passable stream bed. Then you've got to kind of fight your way through there. I think this is where we do the, the what's in my bag gear review. Back a bit. Right, here we go with the rundown of what I carry in my bag. This is a, what was it, a Low Alpine Air Zone Z20. And the reason I got this one was because uh, it's got the most sort of advanced complex harness I could find you know for the most comfort um, you've got to have one of these little chest straps when you're cycling especially when you're on the aero bars your shoulders are really pulled in at the front so you need this strap to keep these straps together at the front I swore when I discovered the joy of riding with panniers I'd never wear a backpack again that all changed when I got a laptop because uh, obviously you don't never want to leave your laptop on the bike um, start with the cameras that's the main thing I mean the the GoPro, everyone's familiar with GoPro, that's what I'm filming on right now. It's just um, the do-it-all camera, so I've got three spare batteries for that. I've had so many of these things over the years. These mounts are really cheap. I've got the uh, the telescopic, the Go pole on this one. Um, the second camera I have is the, the Drift Ghost. They don't actually make this version anymore. This model is the old model, but the, the major advantage of this is it's got a screen. That comes with a charger. Um, I got it secondhand on eBay, and the guy just happens to have a charger with it. And that's a chest harness with a J mount on it, which I use for all the 
the behind the bars stuff on the bike or the action shots. Really, the main reason I go with two cameras is just to vary it up, just to change it up and make it a bit more interesting. When I'm watching YouTube channels, if you've got someone just talking to a camera, yeah, it can be good if the person has a lot of charisma and if they've really got something interesting to say, but um, I sometimes struggle in that department, I think. So it just, it helps to, to have a bit of cinematography and I'm not, I'm not a director of any kind. So um, that's, that's why YouTube works so well for me. It doesn't, your production value is not really as important as the story. Let's talk about the GPS. I've got a Garmin eTrex 20X. The thing is it runs on it runs on AA batteries, which I wasn't sold on at the start. I thought, you know, why can't I just run it off um, off an external battery? I had to buy some, uh, what are these, nickel metal hydride AA batteries. So I've got two in the unit and I've got two in a charger, which I had to buy as well. It was a bit annoying, but Generally speaking, I'm, I'm completely sold on this system. So that's the GPS in here, in this frame bag. People ask me if I've got an electric bike, like there's a motor in it somewhere. The only motors on this bike are in my legs. I do have a battery in here. It's got three USB ports on it. So when I make camp, I can charge, you know, all my cameras, I can charge everything. And that will keep all my gear charged for about three days. Um, I tested that on a ride down to Devon once. The laptop, this is actually the second one of these I had, and this is now a quad-core processor version. So this thing actually, uh, it doesn't fuck around when it comes to editing video. It's a 14-inch screen, so it fits perfectly in there. It's really good for video processing. It loads up clips really quickly, which is important. Um, but you do have to get an, an extra hard drive. I really don't keep anything on here. I don't keep video on here. I don't keep music on here because I keep the memory as free as possible. This is really just a video editing machine and um, you know uploading downloading everything is stored on this hard drive and then there's a power lead for that and then i got a notebook shopping lists for b and q for stuff i need for off-grid construction projects in the future and that is about it that's what's in my backpack no mp3 player on here that's a piece of shit the battery dies in about 15 minutes but there we go so i'm gonna pack that all back into the bag now and then um, head on over past the house there, start heading home to the woods. Oh, fucking hell, I was a kid. <laughs> like this little schoolboy head on the road bike, he's completely fucking hung me out to dry on the flat, but I'm reeling the sucker in now. He looks about 15 maybe. Oh, he's turning off, he's had enough. I was gonna catch you, pal. <laughs> he knows, he knows. So, why have I just junked my mobile phone and replaced it with an MP3 player, two video cameras, a laptop, and a GPS unit? I haven't really done any of that because if I was keeping the phone, I would still have all of these devices anyway. I'd just have the phone in addition. But you know, it is fair to say that a modern smartphone can do all of those jobs, not as well as the standalone devices will, but it will do an estimation of each of them. But for me, it is predominantly a symbolic gesture. And if there's one thing I've been made aware of, the universe loves symbolic gestures. It communicates to us, through symbols and we communicate with it through symbols, through gestures, through symbolic gestures. I'm not gonna go into it because it involves using funny language, which I know puts a lot of people off. I'm trying not to do that so much on this channel. So I believe you're gonna receive messages of all different forms, knowledge and information. that's gonna help you on your journey, whatever you're here to do, whatever you're here to learn, to achieve. Um, and it's going to come to you in many different forms. And I've basically just eliminated the main man-made fake 
contrived matrix format through which messages reach the vast majority of individuals. It's the phone, okay? The human race is still evolving, though not by the same means that we have done up until now. And what I mean by that is an integral part of Darwinian evolution is natural selection. It's the fact that these organisms which are doing the evolving, such as human beings, allegedly, are undergoing hardship, trial of some kind. But what happens when you take an organism and you give it a suit and tie and a fucking car and you put it in a house with double glazing and a nice comfy bed and central heating, what happens then to evolution? Does this creature stop evolving? Could it possibly evolve in other ways? And I know a lot of people share my belief on this, that we will evolve in consciousness now. That natural propensity to change, to evolve, will be expressed in a different way on the mental plane and the spiritual plane. If you didn't spend so much time on your phone, if you didn't spend so much time bathing in Wi-Fi, you might feel that same resonance and you'd be able to say, okay, well, I can't pin it down what's actually happening, but I sure as hell feel it. That's the only reason I've come as far as I have with this thing, because you can't deny what you feel, even if you don't understand how it's working, where it's coming from. So really what I'm hoping to do by ditching the phone is deepen my connection to whatever it is that I felt before that time in the forest. But things are falling into place, I, you know. It could happen any day, guys. Not just me, but any of you who are going through a similar period of just strangeness, like nothing makes sense. So all you want to do is uh, hide yourself away. Fucking do it. If you can do it as extreme as I've done it and literally build yourself somewhere out in the wild to hide, that's wonderful, but anything you need to do. Right, I'm gonna leave it there because I'm nearly home. Um, well, I've got a little way to go, but I don't wanna give away my location, so. Thanks for watching. Um, there's a lot coming on this channel. There's a lot of building gonna take place very soon. I think it's going to be next week, hopefully, if my friend with the van can uh, can fit me in with, uh, with a trip to B&Q. And then I'm going to be doing a lot of work on the place. There's a lot of stuff coming on the channel as well. I've got plans. Things are coming together. I'm going to go and visit Julie in France. And hopefully that's going to produce some, some positive energies, some healing energies for those of us who, who need that. Um, am I allowed to be here or...? I'm not going to get shot by the army. I oh, know, it's the way out.